flap up. So there it sees the white line is turning and it's going to follow it into this waypoint where it has to rotate in order to collect the balls. So they each have different ones. So this first one's rotating. It sees that it's red, so it collects it and stores it for later. It sees that this one's blue and just drops it right back off because it's worth more points here. Now another constraint we have is you can only have three balls on your robot at any time. So though there's one left, it goes, I already have three, so it leaves that waypoint to come to the next one. So this next waypoint is different than the first one. This one here, we have a gripper that pulls it in order to release it. So it checks and it goes, oh man, it got stuck a little bit. But it checks, saw that it was blue, so it wants to keep that and take it to a different waypoint. That one's red, sends it back. That's the dead zone on the Oh, it dropped. So close. And that's a wasted element that you don't want to do when you're on Mars, because there's only very few elements of every can there. So this last one is a push mechanism. So in order to get it, it's got to push that flap, and then it'll collect the ball. Now this one has a reason, since everything's worth 10 points, we're just sending them all right back due to the time constraint that we had. So that yellow one it wants to keep and it tried to collect it, but didn't end up collecting it. So if it had gotten the yellow one in, which John's gonna go grab it and just throw it in, it's gonna try and drop it into that waypoint basket there. Set the tilt right towards the bar still. so it didn't drop it off. But that's the basis of the competition is you have all the different waypoints to collect and receive. And you try and get the most amount of points by collecting balls, depositing them into the correct waypoint that gives you the most points. Any questions?